Now you can see that I finished painting my Papa Purple swirls and now I'm starting on my background. Now something that I'm being very careful about is because Shimmers is a water-based paint, if uh, my background color here, the Samrock, touches my other colors, it will reactivate them a little bit. And so what I'm doing right now is I'm just kind of taking a little bit bigger brush and just kind of going around and just laying on a little bit of color and I'm going to get back into these little these little crevices when I have a smaller brush and so that I don't touch the the just swirls. about done here laying on of the, the first initial color I'm gonna let this dry now you can use your heat gun on this and it will dry but just don't get too close when you use your heat gun because the paint will bubble up just like any paints will bubble up and uh, kind of blister and it's not as pretty when it, that happens. So I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to spray with my matte finish. And then I'm going to come back and show you how I finish this uh, painting. You can see that I have used my little brush on this side and gotten into all those little crevices that I had left before, like I did on this side. And now I'm going to move on to this side. I'm using the smallest brush that I have. I don't know if you can see how small it is. It's quite tiny. Just so I can get in carefully into all these spots and to get a nice, deep, rich green as my background. Now, um, because I already sprayed it with a matte finish, I'm not concerned about reactivating my swirls here. So that's not a worry anymore. I'm just trying to get into all the spots and get all the, the white out. You also may see that your paint is coming up in certain areas. I have had that happen and what I just do is I just kind of paint over the area that's kind of peeling a little bit and it seems to stick it back down. And I haven't had a problem with that after I kind of paint over the, the area. The reason why that happens is we are painting on a plastic which is a difficult surface to work with. Alright, so I'm going to finish that up, then I'm going to spray it again with my Krylon matte finish to keep all the paint, after it dries of course, I need to paint it, let it dry, then spray it again with my matte finish, and that will keep everything permanently in place. As you can see, I have finished painting my background, and now I told you I was thinking about adding some of the Emerald Isle to the edges, and I decided to try that out on one side, and I really like how it's looking. It's adding a little bit more uh, definition to the eyes and to the edge of the mask. So you can see this eye I painted just very carefully with my teeny tiny paintbrush around the eye, and then I'm just doing the around the edges now. Alright, so I'm going to finish this up, this edging right here, and then I'm going to spray it again with my matte finish to seal everything all together. And I'm thinking I'm going to need something around these swirls. I, they're not defined enough for me, so I'm thinking about taking one of my uh, Sharpie pens and kind of going around the swirl a little bit more. And so I will show you what I do Finish with that. now my mask. <clears throat> what I did was I took my little tiny Sharpie pen, the fine tip, and I just went around all the swirls and around the edges just to define them so, more. That is what I did. And I really like how now there is some black on my mask because now it's going to be integrated with the feathers that I, that I glue on the back. So I'm not going to go over too much how I embellish it, but I am going to glue feathers. I'm just going to turn it over like this. I'm going to put a nice line of glue, and then I'm just going to probably cut these feathers down because they're a little bit too big. No one wants a feather in their nose when they're wearing a mask. And then just glue them on so they're kind of sticking up. Because I just showed you how I did the, the uh, peacock, but the tiger was a little bit different. Now with the tiger, what I did first was I painted the entire thing with carrot top pearls and because I knew that the coal would go over the carrot top pearls without having any sort of, uh, you would be able to see it over the carrot top because it's darker. Here's the coal right here. Let me show you the colors. Okay, so I painted that completely with carrot top. Then I sprayed it with my fixative and then I took my template and I just used pieces of it. You can see like, you know, I used a little piece right here, used that little spot right there, and I traced it just like I traced the peacock swirls. 
and then I painted them in with um, with the care or the I'm sorry the coal so that's what I did with that and then to embellish it and then of course I sprayed it with fixative to make it totally permanent now um, uh, to embellish it I just put a line of glue around the edges and then I just put my making memories uh, glitter around the edge and then I also took some cray paper you can see the cray paper right here and I put a bead of <clears throat> excuse me I put a, a line of glue right here and I glued my cray paper on but before I glued my cray paper on I prepared it by I, I spritzed it with the um, before dawn vibes and that gives it this nice sheen on the edge or the in the middle of it here and then I also put some glitter on the edge just by putting a bead of glue along the edge of the cray paper and then sprinkling glitter on it and then I of course gathered it all together to make it look all gathered and pretty like that so that's how I made I this. I hope mask. I've inspired you to make your own custom mask for Halloween this year or for some type of party that you're going to. They really are quite easy and really fun using Shimmers products and using Crafters Workshop products. Thank you for watching and have a great day.